welcome back to yet another episode of my journey home from Phoenix to Seattle. This is episode three. In today's journey, we are exploring Yosemite National Park. If you watched my last video, you know I just left the Sequoia National Park. This is a direct continuation of that journey. I am driving now from Sequoias to Yosemite. It's about a three and a half hour drive. Let's go see the beautiful Yosemite. There is a backup, a line to get into Yosemite National Park. I guess that is the reality of um, Yosemite. That is so busy that there's a line to get in. Good, how are you doing? You're awesome. awesome, thank you so much. Thanks. We are officially inside Yosemite National Park. I have a hunch though that that's not gonna be the last time I'm waiting today. There's signs all over the place saying expect to wait within the valley because it's just so dang busy. Hopefully it's not just a total headache and it's still enjoyable and we get some great views. Fingers crossed. But nonetheless, we are in Yosemite Valley. Let the adventuring begin. There it is. First views of Yosemite Valley. Oh my lord, that is magnificent. Okay, we found this little parking spot along the road. It is packed here. It is so packed. It's like a free-for-all to where you can find parking. I'm gonna pack my bag up for the whole day. We're just gonna walk. Probably spend the whole day on our feet. That's why I'm bringing everything with me in this bag. It is what it is. But at least we're in Yosemite. At least we're getting cool views. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, just made a quick lunch. We're almost packed up and ready to go. And we are off. My backpack is packed to the brim. It's so full. I think I'm going backpacking. But here in Yosemite, you park and then you don't move again because it's almost impossible to find parking. So I literally have everything I could possibly need for the day in my backpack. We're gonna be exploring Yosemite all day long. Let's get after it. First, I'm gonna head in this direction toward the El Capitan Meadow and then start making my way around that way. So I just do one big loop today. Yeah, it's already beautiful views. I am in Yosemite National Park. It's crazy. Just look how pristine this river is. It's beautiful. It's so large, I can't even get it in frame. Okay, we made it to the meadows. El Capitan behind me. I can't even put it into words. It's just like, <laughs> it's so awe striking. It's insane. I'm gonna try to go deeper, I think. It's so big, it's hard to get it in frame. I'm trying to get to a spot where I can get it in frame. <laughs> it's so massive. I gotta walk way back here to get it in frame. Beautiful, beautiful meadow though. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous.
You guys alright? Hey there. It's hard to leave, but I think I'm gonna start making my way that way toward the the bridge and then Yosemite Falls and get those views in. But man oh man, this is incredible. <laughs> I mean just look at that. Unbelievable. Okay, so now I'm back on the loop trail. I'm gonna make my way over to Cathedral Beach and then we'll do Swinging Bridge. So I'm just on the loop that wraps around the valley, kind of just doing, just walking the whole loop, seeing all the views, check off each one, get my exercise in for the day, and get to see the beautiful Yosemite Valley. Okay, that was Cathedral Rock, and now we are walking again. And uh, heading over to the Swinging Bridge, I believe it's called, Swinging Bridge. Looking forward to it. I think we have about a mile or a mile and a half walk until we're there, but it's beautiful scenery as we're walking, so. El Capitan literally in the background of my walk. Unreal, man. It's truly unreal. I can't even. Just had a loss for words, man. God is so good. <laughs> there it is. Yosemite Falls, way off in the distance. That is so, so pretty. Okay, luckily the screen is not cracked. It's just a little piece of plastic that goes over the screen. I haven't taken that off yet. Thank goodness my screen is not cracked. I literally just got a new phone, man. My shoes are soaked now though. I guess that's what you get trying to film yourself crossing the stream. Oh man, that was scary. I thought my phone was cracked again. I literally just got this like a month ago, if that. Like, I just got this. Oh, my heart left my body, man. Another stream crossing. I'm gonna put you guys away for this one. <laughs> okay, we made it across that one just fine because I was actually focused. Oh, my sock is all soggy now, but we're still in Yosemite. <laughs> There's a storm rolling in though. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's getting gloomy out here and I can hear thunder roaring too, but Hopefully it doesn't pass over anytime soon because I do not have a rain jacket. I'll be out in the elements. starting to rain 
this is not good. <laughs> like two miles from my car, so let's hope it doesn't rain too hard. You can see the storm coming in through the valley. Fingers crossed I don't get soaked. Well, it's raining. I'm hunkering down behind this tree to wait it out. Hopefully it stops soon. This tree is giving me a little bit of protection from the rain. Let's just hope it passes over quickly. Because I got places to be. <laughs> Update. I've been sitting here for probably 10 to 15 minutes now. It's still raining. Rain, rain, go away. <laughs> rain subsided a little bit but we're still bundled up now because we're cold just like that the sun is back all right let's keep the venturing going I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just at a loss for words for this place. Truly just indescribable. This is the epitome of God's creativity right here. The epitome of God's goodness. Oh, I get chills just looking at it. It's awesome. So right now I'm making my way over to the Yosemite Village just to check it out, see what it's all about. I wanted to go to the visitor center, but it's already closed. I did not plan that very well. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But there's the village store that I might go check out, see if they have any t-shirts or hats or anything. So that is where we're heading right now. All right, we made it to the village store. Got some goodies. Got a hat for myself, a hat for my dad. And then I got a coffee mug for my mom. I got a sticker from Overhead Collection. Gotta get a sticker. And then I ended up getting a t-shirt as well. So, got a lot of stuff. <laughs> but, you don't come here often, so who knows the next time I'll be here. But now I'm making my way back to the car. My feet are killing me. I need to take a break. We'll give the dogs a rest and uh, try to find a good view for sunset. Oh, there she is. We are finally back. Oh, Whew. it is 7.08. I left this car about noon. So I've been on my feet walking for seven hours straight. Whew. All right, let's get in this thing. Find a sunset spot. That was such a fantastic way to end the day with a magnificent view of the whole valley. Now I gotta go back around the loop to get out of here to go toward Mariposa because that's where I'm staying tonight. It'll be my first night in a hotel since I started this trip. So five days I've been camping and five days I have not taken a shower. I'm so ready to take a shower tonight. None of the campgrounds that I stayed in had showers. And I've just been running and gunning every day, and so I haven't had a chance to stop and take a shower. So it's been five days. So I'm sure anyone I'm around is not very pleasant right now.
have made it to our humble abode for the night. Just a simple little room in Mariposa. I know I haven't showered in five days, but I have two beds. So that means I can jump on one to test them out while I'm still just filthy. So let's do that now. Oh. Oh. This is my first bed in five days. Oh my gosh. Words cannot describe how good it feels to shower. I'm just gonna hit the hay because we're gonna get up early, really, really early tomorrow, like 4 a.m., head back into Yosemite, try to catch sunrise. But for now, I'm gonna get some rest. So, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is about 4.40 a.m. Let's go to Yosemite. <laughs> It's a little after 5 a.m. We are on the road heading back into Yosemite National Park for the morning. Let's get in there, get some views, and have a good morning in Jesus' name. Also, we got some hotel coffee. It's actually not bad. I'm ecstatic because I was not expecting there to even be coffee at 4.45 in the morning. But there was. So shout out to them. And it's not bad, so we're already off to a good start. We have construction light. Last time I was here, it lasted for like 10 minutes, so let's just take in the views while we wait. Officially back in Yosemite National Park. It's gonna be a good morning. I can sense it. It's gonna be a good, good morning. Let's go see some views. was a successful sunrise in Yosemite. That was so awesome. So beautiful, that sun just poking out. Incredible. Got a great parking spot this time. And now I'm just walking around, taking in all the views, just just being present, it's so amazing. It's just truly unbelievable. Even just looking in the camera and seeing what's behind me, it just blows my mind. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning this morning. And I'm just walking around, taking it all in, simply gazing in awe at everything around me. That's all I'm doing this morning. That's the only objective is to just walk around very slowly and take it all in. <laughs> Look at this, you got half dome right over here. Look at those light rays. Can't stop smiling, it's incredible. The only thing that can make this morning any better is some coffee. And that's exactly what I got. <laughs> so 
I've just been walking around the park all morning this morning for like a couple hours already and my heart is so full. It's gonna continue to take in all these views and then eventually we'll uh, head back to the car and make our way north. But right now we're just taking it all in. This place is just truly incredible. Unfortunately though, it's getting to that time where I think I have to start heading back to the car, start making my way out of here. It's gonna be so hard to leave this place. I'm just so grateful, so humbled to be able to experience it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna start making my way back to the car and we'll be heading north, so. It's been fantastic though. I have to do the bittersweet thing of leaving and continuing north to Seattle. It is so hard to leave this place because it is just so magical. Just awe striking everywhere you look. But I do have to continue my journey north. So it's time to say goodbye to Yosemite. Just like that, Yosemite is behind me on my journey. That is crazy. It was hard for me to leave, but I am now heading north. My next stop is Lake Tahoe. So that will do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.